Hallo YouTube, today I want to talk about the Samsung S2. Vandaag wil ik het hebben over de Samsung S2. There seems to be a problem with the Samsung S2 if you um, if you rooted the phone and you installed like several versions of Android on the baby and at a certain point you want to go back to, or or to original je hebt dus uh, verschillende soorten firmware geïnstalleerd op je Samsung S2 en op een gegeven moment ja, wil je er vanaf misschien ga je de telefoon weggeven of verkopen en dan wil je terug naar, originele, naar de originele firmware die op de telefoon draait well if you want to go back to the original firmware that was installed on the phone and that would be version 4.12 of Android for the Samsung S2 the i9100 um, you might discover that it's really 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 hard to find the software there are many sites offering the original uh, custom or not the custom but the original um, the stock firmware but um, you will see that Samsung removed all these links placed copyright complaints I even don't know why because Apple doesn't do a thing like that if you need the firmware for an Apple device to restore it back to any version you would like to even version 1.1 it's still there you know you can still download it it's unbelievable how uh, cool Apple reacts to um, yeah to all the hosters that are hosting uh, the firmware files of Apple they are not placing copyright complaints or they are not you know removing the files from the internet instead of that they encourage it but in Android world it seems to be a little or maybe in Samsung world it seems to be a little bit uh, different and the problem is that when you found this firmware at Sam mobile so let me show you the site real fast where you can find um, firmware for your Samsung S2 up here at sammobile.com. Here can you dus zeg maar de firmware vinden voor uh, voor je telefoon. Je moet wel een account creëren, but the account doesn't mean too much. Uh, your name, your email address, and a password, and you must confirm, you know, that you're not some whatever. So you must confirm. Dat is ook weer zoiets. Je moet um, zeg maar een account aanmaken en dan moet je het ook bevestigen. En, maar dan kun je zeg maar de software downloaden. En to find firmware for your Samsung, you can go up here and you can, you know, just look for your device up here. I would go here, check firmware, you know, or firmware database, whatever. And up here you can choose your model. You know, um, here you can see all the models. Here you can see all the models you the original firmware can ophalen. But when you got this, it might uh, also take a while because this is not so fast uh, server. And if it's busy, then you might get 20 KB download. But after an hour, it will be in. And as it is eenmaal binnen is, if it finally arrived and you, re you restore it, you will restore it with a program called Arden. Be careful. There are two versions of Arden. This is the latest version, uh, the Arden 3, version 3.09, but you need version 185. Well, I'm not sure if that is 100% because um, the problem is if you want to restore back to original, you will come to a point that everything went right the stock firmware is installed stock means the original firmware has been installed but then you reboot your phone and the phone hangs to the screen it ha keep hanging to Samsung it's never starting up you know and um, I found an alternative way at the time to fix it by um, replacing the kernel so I thought, well, let me do the same trick and I replaced the kernel and then I went into um, into uh, into the boot bootloader and then I, I, I cleared the, 
wipe the cache settings, uh, cleared cache, even the Delphix settings, I wiped them and then restarted. And then at a certain moment, it would take too long, way too long, it would start up. And then when it starts up and you uh, wants to want to connect to the Wi-Fi, as you op a gegeven moment, as you dus zeg maar, ik had een andere kernel geïnstalleerd en dan um, startte hij dus na de Dalvik en de cache settings en de partition settings in de bootloader te hebben gewist. Je weet wel, met je volume knop omhoog, uh, home bottom ingedrukt en dan uh, de power bottom aan. Dan kom je in een soort uh, bootloader status waarbij je dus bepaalde dingen kunt doen. Daar kun je dus ook de custom firmware installeren. Zo moet je dus custom firmware installeren. En dat komt door die, zeg maar, door die kernel. So, I install the kernel and then it started up. But then, the moment I want to connect to Wi-Fi, the thing gets in a start-up mode again, and then it keeps hanging to the Samsung logo, just, you know, nothing happening. Op een gegeven moment, als je dus dan uh, die settings hebt gekleerd, en je start de telefoon op, dan blijft die hangen in het scherm. Nee, 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 dan gaat het goed, dan komt die, kom je op een gegeven moment, na een lange tijd, kom je dus zeg maar in, 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 in het... Uh, in het, in, het, in het menu waar je zeg maar je taal kan uitkiezen en de wifi kan aansluiten en het moment dat je dus zeg maar wifi aanklikt the moment you hit wifi the whole thing stocks up and the whole phone starts rebooting again and it never reboots it can take hours you can leave it for hours it will never start up again so how to fix this problem you know getting back to original to me i don't have the phone anymore because i gift it to a friend but I had to bring it back to an original state. Ik heb de telefoon niet meer, want ik heb het aan een vriendin gegeven. Maar ik moest de telefoon terugbrengen in een originele staat, because I didn't want to give it with the avatar ROM on it. Ik wou het niet met de avatar gekraakte ROM uh, geven aan iemand die zeg maar een abonnementskaartje erin gaat zetten. Dat moet toch wel een beetje betrouwbare telefoon zijn. Uh, this person also gonna use it with a, with a, with a, uh, uh, a mobile account so you know um, the phone cannot run on some hacked firmware you know you never know what might happen so you know i want to guarantee her privacy as well so i wanted to get back to stock original rum but the problem is that you cannot go back at least i didn't find a way to go back to the stock original rum i had to root it again i had to root the phone and i found another kernel and that is the latest kernel because if you've been doing all these crazy things just like me you know uh, installing all sorts of firmware even installed ubuntu on the thing linux on the thing you know that many things might happen with the with the phone so the kernel that i restored with to fix wasn't good enough but i got another kernel and i want to tell you about this kernel this kernel my friends oops this is really stupid that I'm opening this, I should open this. This kernel is the uh, Zija, the S2, but version 60B5. I tried before the version 6B41, but, uh, or no, the one stands for, because I downloaded it already, but it's the S2 v version V604B4. That version, it would not work it would not work my friend it would not work you see i downloaded many things here um but this this cja would not work and this one would also not work the phone would show uh would show a kind of uh, yeah little logo of the of the of the of the kernel you know but then it would it would just disappear and then nothing happened. The phone would reboot and stay in a black state. So, you know, you might really think that you bricked your phone. To fix your phone, you need Sidja S2 version 6.05B5. I'm going to put this in the link, how to fix on brick your, your, your Samsung S2, because this is really important. So how to fix it at a certain moment when you got this little program, you must start up you couldn't see anything that i was showing but um you must start up arden 
and with Arden you will be able to fix uh, the phone again by selecting by selecting that kernel yeah let me see which one you need let me take a look real fast for you guys here and you ladies so what you should do is um, you select PDA I think I think it was PDA let me see yeah to root your phone and this is also for people that want to root their phone you can download this kernel and just start up Arden and then connect your phone into uh, a boot a bootloader upstairs uh, a boot, boot bootloader um, uh, function by when your phone is off hold down the volume button hold down the home button and press power on and then you will get into a state and by volume up you will be connected uh, into a bootloader status a download mode it's called in samsung and then you can connect your phone by usb to um to the arden and then you just go into arden when you see that your phone is connected hit pda and hit uh browse for this uh, sija kernel that i just uh, told you about and that i will put here in the description for you guys so you can fix your samsung s2 at least get it back in a working state um i could not find a way to get it back to original you know because the original firmware uh the kernel that comes with it in some way it's not working probably i have to repartition and do lots of crazy things so i did not do that i did not take the time to do that i just rooted the phone again but then with the newest kernel of uh Sija, and then you know your phone will boot up again and it will work again and you can sell it or give it away or do whatever you want to do with it so this is how to do it peeps um i would not advise you to if you have a samsung s2 and it's um and it's not rooted i would root it with um what is this program called again i will also put the program i, f I forgot it's uh, it's a little um uh, Aragon, what is it called? Uh, um. But I will put the link for you guys also, uh, so you can you know root your phone also with that little program, because if you install this kernel, I think your phone will not work anymore when you want to restore to original and you don't want it to be rooted again at least you know i did not get it to work uh, completely unrooted i had to root it again with a new kernel to get it fixed but then again uh, it's better to have your phone rooted than not rooted because um, as you know if your phone is rooted you can then install a rooted firewall and you can then uh, for instance install uh, a root on installer and you will be able with root on installer to delete all the samsung apps you know the annoying samsung apps that are spying on you you know you can remove uh, other stuff that you think you know that you don't need and uh, you can also uh, block apps you know that you download from the google play store you can block them from going to the internet you know so you won't receive stupid banners on your phone you know when you start up the program you see some thing is flashing and you don't you're like what the heck is this and then you click it and then your phone is not starting up your program anymore but it's bringing you to so stupid some stupid web page to you know to ask you to download their silly fucking program so that you all can block so all these little annoyments you can get rid of by rooting your Samsung phone. But that was not what this video was about. This video was about how to get your Samsung phone fixed back on 4.12, not on custom firmware, original firmware, but then rooted with the latest uh, CGA, um kernel. So, you know, it can start up again and it can be used as a phone again so that's how to do it peeps long video i know i talk too much but i have to explain uh how things are going otherwise you know many people that watch the video they will be like what is he saying i don't understand so you know i can make videos and talk like i'm a mr professor here and that i know everything and i speak with expensive words for you guys but hey the world is not like that you know world 
people that are watching my videos are normal people you know people that are trying to understand what i'm saying and that is a real cool thing so thank you for the support my friends we also passed 2000 subscribers i never thought that it would go so fast it's already 2038 i want to thank you all for subscribing to my channel i want to thank you for hitting likes and leaving love behind you know i really appreciate it because that is like a crown on my works that i do here on youtube they are no big deal of all at, at all but uh, i love i love doing it and i'm really enjoying um, making my little daily movie uh, talking about some problem because there are so many problems in the world that we can talk about and every day is a new day to discover and to um, overcome another problem and today we spoke about the samsung s2 how to fix it back and get it back to original so you can use it again as a real phone thank you for watching people um yeah what can i say subscribe to my channel and be my guest to leave a nice little comment here at the bottom bye bye